Pleasanton police have detained a man and a woman for the deadly shooting of a Home Depot worker. Friends and family are grieving the death of 26-year-old Blake Mose. Police say a woman who was shoplifting shot Blake when he confronted her. KTV's Ali Rasmus has this update on the victim and the investigation. Friends and family of 26-year-old Blake Mose are devastated. He worked as a loss prevention agent at the Home Depot store in Pleasanton. He was shot at work doing his job and later died from his injuries. His friends and loved ones describe him as a son, brother, fiance, an Eagle Scout who spent hours of his time volunteering with a scout summer camp. He's an incredible person. Everybody loved Blake. Um, he's the nicest guy in the world. Um, I, I, I can't say anything bad about the guy. Scott Rogers has known Mose for more than a decade. There were both volunteers at the scout camp in Casadero near the Russian River. It's where Mose met his fiance and fellow volunteer Casey years ago. They were supposed to get married this summer. The reception was going to actually be at Camp Morena where they met. Um, this is out in Casadero along the Russian River. Um, we were all so excited for the two of them. Uh, they truly loved each other. The 26-year-old Mose worked as a loss prevention specialist at the Home Depot in Pleasanton. Pleasanton police say around 2 o'clock yesterday, 32-year-old Benicia Knapps of Oakland tried to walk out of the back loading dock of the store with a phone charger. When Mose confronted her, she shot him. Mose died from his injuries last night. His co-workers this morning were shaken and saddened. Great guy. Yeah, he was a very, very, very nice young man would do anything for anybody and he was just trying to do his job for, for the store. Within an hour of the shooting, police tracked and detained Knapps along with a second person, 31-year-old David Guillory of Oakland, as they drove from Pleasanton back to Oakland. The Alameda County Sheriff's Office, uh, their air unit, was able to track the vehicle as it made its way into a residential area of Oakland. From there, they were able to stop the vehicle and arrest the two suspects. As they were arresting uh, the female suspect, they discovered there was an infant child inside the vehicle, a two-year-old. Knapp's child is now with relatives. Pleasanton Police Lieutenant Eric Salachi says officers at the department are grieving Mo's death as well. They knew him because of his job in loss prevention. Retail theft at this store and others, an all too common reality. Well, he's generally the reporting party. He's generally the person who's providing us a statement on what happened when he has someone in custody or has maybe a theft occurred and is reporting it afterwards. So he's on all of the reports that these folks inside the records folks, our officers are always following up with him, so he's very well known to our department and known by many of our officers. The man and woman accused in this crime are now facing multiple charges, everything from murder to child endangerment. In Pleasanton, Ali Rasmus, KTVU, Fox 2 News.